All right, this is a water heater cleaning process. This is what I've used and this is what I've learned on the web. Okay, so what I've learned is uh, that get this uh, valve right here, it's a three quarter inch ball valve and then you have a tube in there that you connect, it's the same thing, three quarter inch. Then you add your hose into it and you go ahead and drain it without any issues with the uh, calcium buildup. And then uh, the next thing you do is you ensure that you unplug your water heater as such. And then you go ahead and you work on taking off the wires on your uh, heating element, which it don't matter which direction it goes on, it go left, right, right, left, it don't matter. And you take this heating element out, and then you go inside there with a uh, hose from a, a wet dry vac, and you do your best to get all the uh, the uh, calcium buildup out of there. I built a special type of hose. I don't know if it's special, but uh, this hose is like a uh, conduit kind of stuff that that you use with electrical. And the reason why I picked it is because it's very stiff. I could sit there and maneuver it or change it and make it uh, form it to where it uh, shows uh, or to where I can get those angles that's inside this water heater. Okay now I'm working on taking this heating element out. i show you how to uh, take it out using a heating element tool that you get at the uh, hardware store. Take it off little by little and get it out. And usually it just comes right out with a little playing. And now you got that calcium buildup. Here in a little bit I'm going to show you how to uh, get that calcium off, which is really easy. It's used with a little bit of uh, Santa vac that you get at the store, or and that's what they call it out here in San Antonio. But uh, it's also uh, you can use CLR. Right now you can see all this calcium build up in here. Okay. My goal is to take it out with that vacuum hose I showed you. Which is really loud so I'm not going to really put it on video. But I'll show you the end result. But as of right now, you can see that build up. And if you were to, you have to get a little small flashlight and put that in there. And you look around at different angles. It'll kind of play with your eyeballs a little bit, but you'll see little uh, little mounds of uh, calcium buildup in there as well. So that is, uh, I don't know, see, see if you can get in there and look at it. Okay. See that now? That's all that buildup in there. And that's why I'm going to use that hose to take out all of that uh, buildup in there. Alright, so what I what you see here, see how it's at an angle, it's like a hook? That's where you can get into this way and get into the wall that's right here. And then where you've seen that build up was, and I could take and angle it at different angles and go with the contour of the uh, water heater to uh, get out all the pieces. Beware, you can't bend this type of tubing too far because it will uh, break. So you just be careful on how you do your bends. Or you can find out a better tube. There might be a better idea out there, but this is all I got for now. But I'm going to go ahead and do the vacuuming. Then you'll see that the uh, little buildup that's inside there is going to be missing. All right, go ahead, Paul. Okay guys, now I'm going to give you an idea about the vacuum, how loud it is, so you be careful with that. But now that mountain that used to be in there, is no longer in there. I don't see anything. Okay, all I did was uh, give a little uh, hook tip to the uh, hose, and just went side to side, tapping around, tapping around, and just maybe shoved a little bit here and there, but at that point... I would say 
maybe 98% of it is gone. And you can see the back now. You can see the little reflection in there. Okay. Try my best to get it in there so you guys can see. I think you get the idea. So that is the process that I'm doing to clean out this water heater. So like I said, I learned this off the YouTubers over there. And just put a few things together that I found out that it's working for me, make it easier with that type of hose. Using this ball valve, three quarter inch. And this will give the size right here. It says three quarter inch right there. It's a ball valve, a brass ball valve. A little extension back in here. You screw it inside and then you screw it up onto the ball valve to get the water out. Sometimes, you know, you could even, if uh, you're in an issue where you got a little hill or something, you could use one of those pumps from Harbor Freight. Hook it up in between this, have it suck it out at that point, and get all the water out if you're up a hill. But right now I'm just downhill, so gravity's taking its place with this one. So, removing the element. Vacuum it out. Use a good little stiff hose. It's I'm not sure what size hose this is, but you know you guys can figure it out when you pull off your own uh, heating element. And then uh, vacuum it out, and then uh, put in the new heating element. I bought four of them because this old heating element is full of uh, calcium. So I figured out a way to clean that up. I'm using uh, that CLR, and I'll show you here in a minute what that uh, that cleaning process. Okay, so now this is what I do to clean off these. It's obvious how it's showing now. I have a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe with a cap on it. Then I put the CLR or this stuff's called Sanivac. I put that in there. Put a little bit at the bottom, maybe halfway. I've already had it mixed with a little bit of water so it won't uh, fizz too much. And if it does, use less water. Or use more water. But I fill it up about halfway and let it. Let's see, that's not enough there. Maybe I'll fill it up a little bit more because right now I'm like down here, so. Okay, so now it's about here, a little bit further up. You just have to mess with it till it like pushes out when you're going in. So I need a little bit more. And yeah, this time it's up to this now, this bracket. Now add a little bit more to where I can see it's uh, taking over. Okay, now it's taking over. And as you can see, it's reacting with it. Maybe I put salt too much in it, but it gives you the idea. Yeah, I make sure it's running down the driveway and clean it up later. But that's the idea. Get it to sit there. You sit there for maybe overnight, and then it becomes like this right here. Now it's going to have a little bit of residue left. This is the this is the brand new one. And this is the one I had sitting in the tubing overnight. That tubing in there. So you see how clean it is compared with a brand new one. Now these are stainless steel, and you can continue to use them so long as there's no bad corrosion down here at this point. So if you get one, you pull one out, and it's got bad corrosion build up right here. You're going to need to go buy a new one. These are about twenty bucks. We got this at Lowe's. This is the uh, model. Okay. That's the number right there, the model number, and then the type it is 4500 watt, 240 volt, universal element. This right here is used for a 50 gallon. Okay. And that is the uh, whole process of what I'm doing to uh, clean up. Uh, water heaters so I don't have to be paying that six thousand dollar bill 
for a replacement. Really easy. Uh, the initial part's going to be hard because you're probably going to have a lot of buildup in there that you didn't uh, know about. But once you do this, uh, every I do it every six months. Um, there's no problems. You just have a little bit of buildup like I'm doing right now, like I just showed you.